Keith here, Katie's Garage, and I want to <laughs> and I want to do an update on my external Wi-Fi extender that I put up on my shop. My Wavelink, I don't remember model number, but here it is. It's broken. <laughs> so I had some cameras hooked up to this using this Wi-Fi and they stopped working so I just just got around to this. this has been broken for a little while and uh, I went out to look at it and this thing it was so I have a pipe on the bill oops I have a pipe on the building and this was on the pipe with these slots right here were zip ties plastic zip ties well it looks like what happened was the plastic zip ties broke and this thing fell the, the Ethernet cable was still plugged in here and it was hanging upside down. And there's a um, there is a seal in here. I'm gonna take it apart in a second. But it fell, it was hanging upside down. I don't know how long it, it, it was it's like 12 feet in the air, so I needed time to get the ladder out and blah blah blah. So eventually I got to it. I got to it this weekend. I took it down and the antennas were all broken. Put this on the ground. The plastic here is just all brittle. It's just all brittle. It's just, I mean, it's just breaking. You can just crunch it. I shouldn't be able to do do that with a uh, plastic. God, fuck. So I don't think it held up that well. Um. So anyway, so it was hanging upside down. And I uh, went up there, took the Ethernet off, and the Ethernet connection was all rusted. So this thing was in here like this. This was um, supposed to keep, you know, the, the cable in, in a spot. So then had this on it. This kept the Ethernet cable goes through here, through this hole. And I don't know if water got through. Well. You know what? I do know water got through. You can see that's rusted. So this thing was hanging upside down. I don't know if you can see the. I don't know if you can if I can get in there. The uh, connectors there, the the pins, it's got rust on them. When I initially took this out, there was water coming out of it. So water got inside. I don't know how else it comes apart. You know, to check it out, but. I am, uh, yeah, look at it. It's got a green from copper. I'm throwing it away. So now, I think it's been a little bit over a year. If you ask me if I would recommend this, I would say no. Wavelink, I don't remember the model number. I'll put it in the description in there and stuff. But, bye bye. And I, I'm, I'm not buying another one. Um, I'm going to try this one here. TP-Link AC1200 wireless. A gigabyte. Same kind of deal. Um, I don't think it has... Oh gosh. This one had 2.4G and 5G. I don't know if this has both also. It just has two antennas. It has 2.4 and 5G. It's the same thing. You hook up a LAN cable to it. And uh, that's it. Yeah, that powers it. So I do have to... I ran, the, I ran the wire through the shop. If you remember, if you go back to the video. I'll put a link, I guess, in the, to the old video. Um... And I sealed it up with a bunch of silicone. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm, there's enough wire up there. I don't want to pull it out and reseal it and do all that. I'm going to cut the end off, put a new connector on it, see if I can weatherproof it, and then plug it into the plug it into this new one. That's my plan. Go up and put this one up and see how this one works. And then I will do another video when when I got it going and, and see if it's a. I mean I'm sure this will work. That one lasted a year. Instead of putting 
classic zip ties through here. We're in Florida, a lot of sun, heat, rain. I'm gonna put metal stainless steel ties to hold it onto the pipe. So this way it won't rot, rot away. Um, I think I think that's what did that thing in when it broke and fell and was hanging upside down. Then it rained, water got inside there and just ruined it. When I put this one up, I'm using metal ties. I don't know if it comes with any zip ties or whatever. I haven't opened the box yet. Actually, you know what? Let's just open the box now. Let's see what it has in it. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, so this looks like it's just specifications about the router, installation guide. Don't know what that is. Looks like this is the power box. Cord, power cord, two antennas. Just stuff this out there. <laughs> yep, and it comes with some zip ties, which I will not be using. I'm going to use, I, I've learned in the past, plastic zip ties and Florida weather don't last long. So I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use metal zip ties. And then here's the unit. Wow, this is okay. This is really small. So what is this? Oh, okay. So I guess what you do is you mount this onto your wall and then you just slide that in um, I'm gonna be putting this on the outside of my shop my metal building I don't know yeah I don't think I'll be using this because I'm just gonna put on a, there's a pipe there I'm gonna put this on the pipe right here and do some metal zip ties right through here to hold this thing up this is nice and small and then your Ethernet I'm guessing this comes yeah this comes off Ethernet goes in there. I don't know how this is waterproof. And that's it. Maybe that's why this, I don't know. I mean, water goes, hits this. Well, maybe water won't go in. I might, I might seal this around here. I don't know. Maybe I'll take some silicone and put it around here. And on the bottom. Just to make sure it's watertight. I'll look at the instructions, but Anyway, that's it. Pretty simple. This shouldn't be that hard to um, install. The antennas. Anyway, that's it. That's the TP-Link AC1200. Okay, so that thing should, uh, thing should work fine. I'll put it up there and I'll get my internet back up in the backyard. Um, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any uh, questions, I'll put a link to this thing in the, in the description. I'll let you know how it, how it works out. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Bye.